Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your oracle messages for the next few days, the next week or so. Uh, these readings are really looking at the potential, the energies that are around you and they can resonate for a few days longer than when they're released and they won't be for everyone. That's fine, take what resonates for you as always. So without further ado, I wish you a wonderful weekend and let's get straight into these readings. Scorpio, let's see what we have for you. What do we have for Scorpio, Angel Spirits Guides? This is the energy deck for those of you who are interested. And for Scorpio Sun, Moon Rising in Venus. So what do we have for our lovely Scorpios? Thank you. Thank you. Another card turnover, no. We have Healer of the Ages, number 51. With that, we have number 27, Walking Away. Community, number seven. Let's see what this is about. What do we have for Scorpio? Thank you. Message for Scorpio. Thank you. Message for Scorpio. This is the Druid Tarot deck. Message for our lovely Scorpios. Thank you. So I'm going to choose the cards because they're a little bit large. <laughs> okay, we have the lady, the birth of something new. Now she is a very nurturing energy. Very good sign in terms of recovery as well. With that we have the Prince of Pentacles, yeah. And we have Community. The High Priestess. Scorpio, it, it feels in this energy um, that you're, you're going to be made some kind of offer. The Knight in Tarot always brings change. I love the Knight of Pentacles. I love it when it appears. Um, because he's a really he's a real stable knight sometimes takes his time I have to say <laughs> but he is the, the knight of abundance he's the knight of abundant change uh, so very good in terms of job offers business opportunities being offered a sum of money that brings an end to a situation where you can move on um, but there's definitely an energy here of, of for the majority of you it feels Maybe some kind of recovery um, is, is linked with this night on some level where you can finally heal, move on, move to abundant times. It feels that kind of energy here. Because it, it certainly, a community energy, it can be work community, it can be your home, you know, your family, your friends supporting you. So again, however that resonates, the High Priestess is absolutely intuitively trusting your intuition with regard to either seeing or connecting to a community, how things feel, how you're interacting with people, if it's to do with work, it feels it is for the majority of you. It might well be for some of you, you just feel this is, this is a really nice community to connect to. Um, you're getting signs, whether throughout this process as, as someone's coming to make you an offer, it might well be you're getting inklings of, of something feeling good, feeling right, you know, with that High Priestess. Now, interestingly enough, the Lady can represent the birth of something new. This Healer of the Ages represents some level of... I've got two cards here. Ah. So I've got the Angel of Balance and Healer. So this is number 48. So... There's definitely an energy of you coming back into balance. Now, Healer of the Ages can represent physical recovery from illness, but it can also be healing from some kind of, could, it could even be a toxic work environment in some way. So it can represent recovery on a number of levels. But it feels in this energy, this is just what you need. 
The Empress is the birth of something new. She's a very abundant energy. She represents the birth of something new, very good in terms of money areas, money career finances. Um, it, it feels in this energy, she is bringing in this kind of beautiful healing energy as well. Um, she's a very healthy energy. So it might well be that you're connecting to a healthier work environment or healthier work conditions or healthier, healthier working hours. Um, you know, it might well be for some of you, you're walking away from something that doesn't serve you anymore, Scorpio, and moving towards a community that is, that feels it puts people more front and center, that's for sure. But also maybe the material recognition that you get from this kind of empress energy. She can also be a very, she can be a, a woman in business. So it might well be for some of you that you're connecting to a woman in business. It will be a powerful woman in business who will be the decision maker here, who is responsible maybe for bringing in this opportunity to you. It, it certainly feels in this energy, there's an offer. There is some kind of offer coming which has, allows you to move on from difficulty and embrace some kind of happier environment. If it's moving on from a, a legal thing, this is the birth of something new, getting an offer or an award, you can finally heal and put everything behind you. And it might well be your community has been supporting you. But there's there's certainly an energy of, of front and center. This knight is surrounded by all the cards. So this night is front and center in terms of what you're interested in. I feel in this energy quite strongly that this is bringing the material change that you want or the material outcome you want. Like I said, a sum of money, offers, contracts, business opportunities, job offers. Beautiful energy. Okay, final message for Scorpio. Final message for Scorpio. We have focus your mind on what you really want. We are helping number 15. And we have never forget you are loved. Love never dies. That's lovely. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thank you.